In our third page here, we're looking at reflections as our next form of transformation. Now, reflection, uh, you might think of a mirror. So you're in the mirror, you see your reflection. The first step to being able to do any kind of problem where you're looking at uh, starting with a reflection is being able to recognize what is the line that your uh, image is being reflected over. So in the first problem, number 13, we see that we have a reflection across the line y equals negative 2. And to work with that, we need to know where y equals negative 2 is. Now, when there's no x present, we know that we're looking at either a horizontal or vertical line. In this case, uh, since we are told what y is, we know how high the line is. We know that y is always going to be negative 2, so it is a horizontal line. It is not going to be a slanted line with a slope of 2, so don't get it confused with y equals negative 2x. y equals negative 2 is a line going straight across. Uh, you do not have to draw this line out all the time, but I highly suggest it. It will make things a lot easier if you can see what you're reflecting over. So in this first problem, when you are reflecting over this, each point needs to individually get reflected over that line. So you can see that this point V is exactly one above uh, that line of reflection. So I am going to now mirror it to be one point uh, below that line. So here I'm going to label that V prime. I'm going to do the same thing with F here. I'm going to, it's one above and I'm going to go directly straight down to one below. So that's F prime. M I can see that M is exactly three below the reflection line, so I'm going to go one, two, three points above to get my M prime. And then A, one point below, I'm going to go directly up from there and get my A prime. So now I have my new shape that I can draw. And we'll do our best to draw this straight here. And now that is the same shape reflected over that line. If we want to check our work, the transparency sheet can be especially helpful in these, uh, what I would consider to be the most difficult part, um, reflections. And if we take our original shape and line it up, we want to mirror across this line right here. So let's go ahead and line up, not the center origin like we used to line up, but line up the x equals uh, negative 2 parts of our graph so that we can make sure we did this right. And as you can see, when I'm lining this up, it looks like I made a mistake. So I can see very easily what I did. Most of my picture lines up, but it looks like my uh, H over here is misdrawn. So let's take another look at that. Um, it seems like I put two dots there, uh, and I just drew to the wrong spot. So I actually put the dot in the right place the first time, but my image should look like this. So that's where this can be useful. I also, when I just looked at that, it appeared that something was wrong. I couldn't figure out exactly what was wrong, but uh, whenever something looks wrong, that's always uh, a pretty good indication in this unit that something needs to be fixed. So now when I line it up, I can see that the one that I redrew lines up with my mirrored image. Uh, I'm just going to take a quick peek at number 15. I'm going to make you do most of this one on your own. Uh, when you're reflecting across the line y equals negative x, that's the line uh, with a slope of negative 1. So y equals really negative 1x. And you could even say negative 1x plus 0. So you start in the origin, the center of the graph, and for every 1 that you go up, you would be going uh, backwards one. Or another way of looking at it, every one forward, you would go down one. So this is going to be a diagonal line, and the negative x means you're going to have a slope that's going negative or down. So if you were to draw your dash line across the graph, it would look something like this. And now just to do one point, you can kind of see how uh, r, if you start working your way across, is diagonal one here, and if you keep going this direction, diagonal 1, so that you're perpendicular to uh, your reflection line, you're going to end up with r prime over here. 
Same thing with S. If you diagonal straight into it, it looks like we're one and a half units at a diagonal, one and a half diagonal parts. Keep going, and you're going to end up with your S prime. And then these will connect, and you'll continue doing that for all of the other uh, coordinates. Uh, so the reflection over a diagonal line is a little bit tricky. Uh, I would recommend starting with your transparency sheet and trying your best to line that up and then reflect that uh, over that diagonal so you can kind of see what you're expecting to get. You're going to be looking for something that looks uh, about like this and then try to work your way from there with the points and get practice with that. Last couple is writing the rule. So if we go down to the bottom, we see uh, number 17. You're trying to create a rule to see how did this reflection happen. And from what I can tell, it looks like uh, it's going to be folded across a horizontal line. So if you were to lay your pen or pencil to form a line of reflection, you can kind of see how uh, they're both equidistant from the pen. To figure out exactly where that line is, you basically are looking for the midpoint, the middle of the point, let's say K, and its image, K prime. So I go up one, up two, up three, up four, they're four apart. Halfway would be to be two apart from each other. So right there would be the halfway point. And if I look at my halfway point between D and D prime, it looks like it's going to be right here. And then U and U prime also have a midpoint right here. So we're looking at a horizontal reflection line that goes straight across at uh, y equals 1. So that horizontal line, because y is always 1 here, is going to be the line y equals 1. So the way you'd write your rule is you would say a reflection, not a translation, not a rotation, but a reflection uh, across y equals 1.